All right, that's good. This is also really a fun little detail. Brendan Schaub, Schwab, Schaub or Schwab? Uh, I Stu. think Schwab to would be, be honest, with a I W, you know. I don't know which one. Here it's, but here it's spelled with a W, so I don't know if they're fu making fun of me, whoever wrote this, because I used to say Schwab. <laughs> I think it's Schwab. W. It's not with a W. W. So he sued a fucking YouTuber for making fun of him. He is such a moron, this guy. This is the guy who was um, giving Bobby Lee shit that I got and kind of embroiled it in a little bit of drama with them. But I love Bobby, and I don't like Brandon. <coughs> he's, a, he's a meathead in, like, the truest sense of the word. Um, so he sued a YouTuber for making a bunch of videos about him. Now, he thought he was suing him for defamation, but it turns out he was suing him for copyright infringement. He apparently didn't know. He didn't know what he was suing the person for. Because, like, suing him for defamation would be, like, an obvious fat loss. I'm sure his lawyers knew that. And when you get anti-slapped, you automatically owe it attorney's fees. So there is some risk in suing for defamation. I think there is for copyright too, but he lost the case. And well, anyway, the best part is that in the verdict uh, decided in favor of fair use against Brendan, they cite none other than your boy. <laughs> Shout out Matt Haas, Hussein Zada vs. Klein. <laughs> because Mr. Swindell's reaction video used the copyrighted works to criticize or comment upon, Rather than to supersede the work's original objects, mm -hmm. the first fair use factor weighs in Mr. Swindell's favor. They continue. Or provides otherwise unavailable information as, about the original is unlikely to supersede the original work. A quote from Hussein Zada first Klein. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. Let's fucking do this. Let's go. Hopefully I'll be adding another one. Soon. That's epic. Still. Still. Thank you for the top comment. Ethan has unironically done more for free speech than any conservative dissenter. Thank you so much for saying that. I love that you said that. I wouldn't say that about myself. I'm more I mean, from a legal standpoint. That's objectively true, bro. Right? Like, well, I'm can't begging. Even with it. I'm begging for a second precedent. I'm begging. I'm on a precedent all over Kav Kav. <laughs> Just like Brad. During a messy weekend. <laughs> How do you not know what you're suing someone for? He's he is that dumb. I don't know if you know Brendan. Like that's Schaub. like mind blowing. He he's literally that dumb. <laughs> he, this fucking guy. He is. This fucking guy. Uh, speaking of Brendan Schaub, though, he recently had a Jay Leno esque car crash. Oh no. Flipped. He has apparently something he takes great pride in is his souped up TRX truck. Mm. Um. He took it out to some kind of desert. This truck is very, very fast. Mm. Is it? It's like an off-roading mobile. Type? Um, you, I suppose you could use it that way, but the amount of horsepower and uh, power going to it—it's it, insane. It's <laughs> it's seven hundred horsepower stock, and he Whoa. got it over a thousand. What the hell? And, and in this video, he's getting a lot of suspension and stuff put on it, so it could go off-roading. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, how much does a car like that cost? New one, probably 130 grand. Whoa! Then, yeah. But then when you add this another supercharger, probably what 30 more, Zach, at least something like that. And plus, yeah. dealers are not selling these at sticker, so there's probably another 30 to 50 thousand right. dollar. I didn't know trucks. You could buy a truck so that. So the expensive. the purpose is for like off roading. I I suppose it's, it's a weird mix. Okay. They put like Hellcat, which like the Challenger, like was the first car to have the Hellcat engine, which is like a insanely fast uh, engine for a stock car. Mm -hmm. And then they put it in like Jeeps and then in bigger trucks like this as well. And I don't really know the appeal. I mean, it's fast. I mean, that's cool, but yeah, it, it, it go the truck itself, yes, it could go off-roading, but. It's, I suppose, more of a racing truck, if you will. Hmm. Yeah. That Which is very weird. interesting. <laughs> well, here's our boy. He took it out to the desert. Apparently, it takes some kind of expertise to drive on like mm -hmm. real sandy terrain. Yeah. So um, he accidentally had on uh, shit. What, what was it, Zach, that he left on? Was it traction control? Yeah. He did, uh, wait, is that what it was? He didn't have the traction on. Yeah, he had. Yeah, he left on a setting and he tried to do a donut, and that's what oh fucked him up. Oh my god. So here, let's enjoy. Really? Oh my god. 
<laughs> He's fine, by the way, so you can laugh. This guy, by the way, he just lost a lawsuit. And by the way, the guy who he lost the lawsuit to was self- he was represented himself. <laughs> no lawyer. I didn't know that. He had yeah. no fucking lawyer. I didn't know that. No, 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 and he beat them. Isn't that so badass? Bruh. And Brendan was, <laughs> was bragging all throughout. It took two years to resolve this. And he kept being about, he's got big time lawyers on him. <laughs> this man beat them. One man oh without legal Lord. training. Dude, there's something with the way he just scrambles out. Like, yes. all, it's <laughs> hectically, it's so funny. I agree. Oh I agree. It's like a little, like a wet cat. It's funny. We should do a, definitely do a good mashup of him and Jay. So I was actually making an edit of one, and then I saw one on the subreddit that shit on mine. So I linked, oh. it, in the, I linked it in here. Well, first let me say I appreciate the hustle. Thank you. <laughs> actually, um, real quick, just back it up to right before the flip. You Somebody sure. pointed something funny out. Um, okay, so look, we got all these shots of his truck. Yeah. And hopefully he lines up for the donut. 160,000 for that thing? It's very fast. Well, it's very like... Okay, so here he is. Here's the footage. Here he goes to do it. <laughs> and then fade out to right afterwards. Something's cut out. We don't show it. I think it's just because it was so fucking embarrassing how slow yeah. he was going when he rolled the truck. <laughs> that they didn't actually want to show the moment from the outside. <laughs> You're absolutely right that they have the footage. Yeah, yeah they have before and after. Yeah. <laughs> where's the foot? Where's the footage, where's Brendan? Where's the flip footage? Like... It's a like, Pruder film, dude. Where's the footage, brother? <laughs> just What happened? Just suddenly on top of... This is such an uh, influencer in the wild vibe. True. It does oh. look like he's going 10 miles per hour. Yeah. yeah, he had traction control on. Chad's saying you have to turn it off. So the car was trying to stabilize. Yeah, and it has four-wheel drive as well, so... So it's you have four bump. wheels going against the driver. Oh Who's gonna win that? God. Right. <laughs> Wait, how? But if it's trying to stabilize, how does it flip so easily? Because it has to because drift. He's trying if if to all do four the wheels circles. are going in the same direction, it's gonna cause it to. It's still. Yeah, it's it's still. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. He was like traction on. That sounds smart. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I do. Yeah, you're not doing a donut. No, that that's traction. the right. Yeah, thing. you're not trying to do circles when you. Yeah. I'm not doing donuts, donuts in the desert. Yeah. Fuck no! I avoid the desert. I don't like the desert. This was like an hour after he got the truck stuck in the dirt and it took oh, yeah. forever to try to get it out. Right. He also got stuck in the sand because oh he apparently you have to like gun it on the sand to not get stuck. Mm -hmm. And he explained that. And then he did it and he stopped <laughs> and then he got stuck. But here's the edit. Um, Oh no, let's watch the he got stuck first, just to give it the whole... Bro, he's got badass music. Probably can't play it, eh? I would love the music, though. There, oh. The music might be gone. <laughs> uh, the only claim was in the beginning of the video. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're really gonna hit me with that zany... Well, folks, I got stuck. It's all fun and games to get stuck in the middle of nowhere with no drinks, food, water. You could die out here. I don't know if it's going to surprise a lot of you guys, but I'm not BJ Baldwin over here, okay? It's my first time out here. This is I, the guy I, I know a lot of you guys aren't in, like, deep cool. into the Rogan like the, sphere. Let all the <coughs> clear, and I'm gonna shoot <coughs> this guy is um, a <coughs> former UFC fighter, not a good one, who Joe Rogan basically embarrassed into retiring. It's crazy. And then, Brendan Schaub is the most frequent free guest on Joe Rogan. Right. And he has a comedy, he has a career in comedy solely because of Joe's persistence uh, promoting him. And uh, it's incredible because he truly has no talent. I mean, truly. In the, this man has a comedy career with no talent. It's amazing. It really is. He has a talent. <laughs> right. Like Mr. Magoo has a talent. <laughs> Don't think we have another strat. That's right. And so I let's watch the edit, though. I'm excited about this one. I think he's got a derby car career, man. Just flipping shit, you know? Maybe he'd be good at the derbs. All right, here's the edit. The shout out here. to, um... He was charged with the second time... Shout out to the mediocreist. Nice. Shout out. 50 likes. We see you. We see you.
a great client here. He was charged with a second time DUI. Uh, he admittedly <laughs> overdosed on multiple different drugs that night, causing drug use, psychosis. He was trapped in two other cars. <laughs> This man ran over a whole Don't family on the island. <laughs> he was blackout drunk, tested positive for PCP. <laughs> he was gonna go to jail for life, and we got him out on bond, ladies and gentlemen. No jail time reduced to ten. My to my ten vision months. for this is to edit um Shab into the driver's seat so that Shab and Jay are in the car together. Oh. Mm. <laughs> you think you could do that, Cam? Uh, let me look at the footage real quick. I'll, I'll see what I can do, but like, maybe not today, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, that's a serious project. <laughs> but maybe. It's a long-term goal. It is. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. We like to set long-term goals here. <laughs>